So welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. We took the Walther WMP out to the range, so let's go ahead and take a look, see how it did. Okay, we got the Walther WMP uh, 22 Magnum. We'll go ahead and take some shots, see how it does. Okay. Nice. I'll wait on that one. Yeah, the wind, the wind stepping up right now. Gun. It is. It... Doesn't really click in. The magazine doesn't. Does I know. It? It's. I, I kept trying to think. Yeah, it's like. Like. I'm waiting for it's that click. Not a real solid engagement on it now. So we have the Walther WMP, or the uh, Walther Magnum Pistol. I already forgot what the WMP stands for. Sounds good. It's a 22 good. Magnum pistol. It's a full-size gun. Uh, it is cut, uh, optic cut. Uh, it has uh, a uh, fiber optic front sight, uh, adjustable rear, two 15-round magazines uh, with easy load uh, little levers on the side so you can load them up easy. Um, you know, uh, ambidextrous controls, front and rear slide serrations, uh, front Picatinny rail. Uh, so feature-wise, it's pretty much has what's considered the standard anymore. It really, it's more. If you have a pistol that doesn't have some yeah, of this stuff, and that's where it's you know, mm, right. uh, it's you got, got it's got the speed holes on the top for the that that sexy speed look. Speed holes. Um, so we'll go ahead and go around first, see what people thought. So Evan, what do you think? All right, so it's okay. Um, I had, I thought it was not a smooth uh, racking of your magazine. I, I don't know if that's just because it's 22 lightweight, there's not weight to put. It just seemed like it didn't want to go in and you really had to hammer it home. I think it's a way bulkier gun than what's needed for a 22 mag. Um, it's cool, 
What'd you say the MSRP was? Five forty nine. Five forty nine. Do you have any? Uh, you know what I'm going to be buying if I have five hundred forty nine dollars. Well, I, yeah, I I'll know. I'll be buying the rock. You'll be buying yeah. Five seven. Um, I just it, I think it's overpriced. It's it might be cool, but uh, just to have around. But what is what is its purpose? I'm I'm struggling to find. Why would you want a twenty two long or, or a Magnum in a bulky full size? Well, it, it, it I'll this tell you the main thing is it allows people that are recoil sensitive, and there are some people that just can't handle recoil, like mm -hmm. a 9mm or something like that. It allows them to have a full-size firearm, it still has 15 rounds, with something with some oomph to it. Now, it's still 22 rimfire, right. but 22 rimfire Magnum, I mean, there's some oomph to it. it I mean, it's approaching energies of the 5.7. So Low, lower the lower end five sevens. So the kinetic energy of a five seven versus a twenty two mag is not even in the same ballpark though. So if you're a recoil, sensitive, well actually they're not as far off, as far off as what you think. Is that right? Yeah. Through the ballistic gel and all that. Yeah. We'll we'll have to do some 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 tests on that. I'm just thinking there's better options for the recoil recoil sensitive for uh, a full size gun uh, and for a caliber than doing a 22 Magnum. That's, uh, maybe I'm, I'm poo-pooing the whole thing. As far as the gun, the ergonomics of it feel good. Um, it's, it shoots well. Um, it's sexy looking. Uh, I just, I can see uh, about 100 different ways I'd spend $549 in a, a Magnum, 22 Mag. What about yeah, you, Yeah, I know, I do agree. I do think it might be a little uh, on the high side, but I actually like the gun. Uh, I love the ergonomics. I love the way it fit in my hand. You know, it, if it fits, I love it. <laughs> uh, you know, like you're saying, you know, it's optic ready. You know, you got like that. You know, pick a tenny. No, all in all, it was great. I, I like it. was fun to shoot, but I think it is a little expensive. I'd give it probably a three, three I'm, star. I'm giving it a two. I forgot to say that. I, I give it a two. It's not absolutely horrible. It's not an RG ten for current Island. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would probably, honestly, I'm probably going to have to go about a three also. And the main reason, uh, it's, it's, I'm going to say it's because of the price. For the price point, mm -hmm. it, it's an expensive pistol. It is. Now, it shot well. We didn't have any uh, function issues with it at all. The magazine was odd to put in there. I mean, the first time, you know, I went put one in, I was kind of like, it's is, like it, a is, is it in there? Almost. You know? It's like click, click, click. click yeah. You, you have to really mean it yes. to, to get it in there. Um no, not super unusual. There's, you know, a lot of guns like that, but, you know, it, that, that, it, that, that's just an issue. You would ask what the main point of it is. I mean, there are some reasons for it, but there's cheaper options that fill that same need. And don't, you don't sacrifice the recoil. Right. I mean, 22, now 22 Magnum is a hoot to shoot because there, there's like, no recoil to speak of, mm -hmm. but it's a big boom. It's a big fireball because you know it's still, you know, it, there's a lot of actually energy in those in those cartridges, so it looks and sounds like you're shooting something much bigger. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. And being a full size gun with that, you know, from a distance, people wouldn't even know that you're shooting a 22 yeah, that's true. Magnum. Yeah. Uh, now, with that being said, 22 Magnum is not cheap to shoot. I mean, it's not like 22 long rifle, which the else is pointing. 22 ammo is kind of, or magnum ammo is kind of expensive. Where are we at, just to guess? Uh, $35 a box. Wow. I mean, a box of 50? box of 50. Compared to nine, which, you know, is you know, 15 to 20, depending on, you know, where you can get it. So, I mean, it costs more to shoot than the nine millimeter right. it does. Um, it's just yet another reason to do 5.7 instead. Yeah. In yeah. my opinion, I mean, your dollar to 75 cents, yeah, okay. Yeah, I I'm mean, it's it, it's it's less expensive than a 5.7, but I'm, I'm kind of with you on most counts. I'm starting to pull you over. I like it from just an aspect. It functions well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if I see the need for a full-size micro-caliber. Bingo. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, is really what it comes down to. Uh, now, from a training pistol, if you were going to use this, you know, uh, in, in, a, in place of something bigger, well, then I have to ask, why don't you buy a 22 version? There Just 22 long rifle version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a two and shoot. 50 cents around. You're right. kidding. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I guess, you know, I, 
Sorry probably about three it, stars. Craig. Well, no, you know, it's not poo-pooing. Yeah, it. It's still a nice gun. I mean, it's oh, yeah. front and rear serrations. It's perfectly adequate. There's nothing wrong with it. It functioned fine. It's just for the price that you pay for it, unless you really have a need for a 22 Magnum. It's just hard for me to wrap it, my It's kind of hard mm -hmm. to justify the expense. So I think we're kind of all in agreement with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great gun. Yep. yep. Everything's it, great but the price. Just don't know if it's a $500 great gun. That's right. That's so right. now street prices on these are going to be a little bit less, but you're still, I'm, you're still going to be 400 plus. I mean, it, for one thing, it's, it's Walther. So they don't make cheap stuff. That's right. right. Um, and with that being said, you're getting Walther quality. So, I mean, it's like, it, it's a good gun. Mm -hmm. I just, for the money, there's better options out there. I guess is how I'm looking. So I guess well we're, said. we're all in agreement with that then. Uh, so um, as always, if you like this type of content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when we release new videos. Uh, comment, give us your feedback. Tell us what you think. I mean, especially if people that have one, What's your thoughts on it? There are some uh, Walder faithfuls out there. Mm. There Lots are Walder, Walder faithfuls. There right? are, and that's with good reason. Yep. I mean, they they make they make good stuff, mm. and you know, if it's good enough for James Bond, you know, there. That's right. <laughs> uh, now he didn't carry this, but a <laughs> L- little yeah. bit bigger. A right? little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know, as he always, the five hundred. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> uh, yeah. As always, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap up. And, until next week, stay safe.